Hey, what's up you guys? It's Matt here back again with another video. Uh, for today, we're just gonna do a typical pickups video, showcase a few of the items that I've been purchasing over the past couple of months. Some items are from my personal collection and others I am showcasing for the shop. And we have some bangers today. I'm really excited to showcase these items in a little bit more detail and you guys are going to be amazed. So thank you for watching the video and enjoy. Okay, and starting off the video with footwear, for the first pair here, we have the Fall Winter 2015 Foley Folk sneakers. If you guys aren't familiar with this sneaker silhouette, this is their take on the Adidas Stan Smith silhouette, um, obviously elevated with premium construction and materials. This one is fashioned with a premium UK cowhide leather uppers. And then they do a little bit of snakeskin detailing here on the backside really really cool texture with this material and then they also have that on the tongue as well with their hand painted leather tongue tag these are goodyear hand welted sneakers so you can actually resole them with visvim when the outsole is worn down which i think is a really really cool idea uh, these are tagged size nine I, I would say that the fully folk fits about a half size big so I do recommend to size down a half size with these, but they do also feature a pigment-free cow leather lining and insole, and also a cork footbed that will mold to your feet over time. This silhouette is probably my favorite white sneaker, and I feel like I just wanna buy a bunch of these and wear them for the rest of my life. Really, really awesome, simple sneaker from this one. Next up, we have the Roland Jogger uh, sneakers. This one is the Spring Summer 2019 Spot Collection. Um, these are fashioned with a Japanese canvas upper, which I think is really nice. The canvas itself has a speckled effect with a bunch of different colored fibers. They do have some excess fabric distressing here along the V stitch with that, which I think is a really cool detail. And then they do have some Visvim embroidered branding here at the back. They have a TPU heel support, which really locks in your heel when walking. And then they have an EVA Phylon midsole with this really cool hand-painted work on it. Um, we do have some Visvim branding here and all these stripes are hand-painted and we do have a little bit of American flag going on with this blue detailing here as well. They are fashioned with a custom Vibram outsole. But yeah, just a sharp vintage trainer silhouette I think is gonna go well with any of your outfits being such a neutral color. Great pickup for anyone looking for one of these trainers from Visvim. Um, it does feature their Kion leather tongue tag with the Visvim branding using lacquer paint drips. And these also feature a uh, leather lining insole and cork footbed as well. So they are supremely comfortable with wear. Moving along, we have one of my favorite pickups as of late for sneakers. This is the Skagway Patton Low G Chords. So this is fashioned out of a German corduroy upper. It's almost like a micro cord material, except this is a specially processed cotton, a lot like canvas, but has a much softer texture to it. I can imagine this is going to fade and distress with wear very nicely. This is a vulcanized rubber construction. We have a gradually thickening sole as you get to towards the toe, a Visim stamp detail here on the front part of the toe, and then a lightning bolt taping all the way around. We have a UK cowhide leather heel chimney, leather toe, and then leather detailing on the tongue as well. This one also features that same Kion leather tongue. And then we have the same pigment-free cow leather lining and insole. This insole is actually removable, which is nice. If you want to adjust the fit of these, you can take the insole out if they're a little bit too tight and you're good to go. These are also fashioned with Vibram rubber outsoles, which will make them extremely long wearing. Uh, these are tagged a size eight and a half. I do recommend to size down a half size with Skagways. They do fit um, a half size large. 
Moving on to the boots of the video, starting it off with these, a lot of people's grails, one of John Mayer's favorite boots that he wore for nearly six years. These are the Brigadier Boots High, and this is the waxed suede iteration. These are from the Fall Winter 2014 collection and were extremely limited. The uppers themselves is a wax suede, like I said, and it leaves the boots with incredible texture and visual wear. These already have a little bit amount of wear on them and you can see they're aging beautifully. We do have some raw leather laces, brass lace eyelets, leather stacked midsole, and a day-night rubber outsole from the UK. And then we do have some PZ fabric heel inserts along the heel. These are Goodyear hand welted boots, so you can also get them replaced. These also do feature the same cow leather lining insole and uh, cork footbed. So again, they will mold to your feet over time. These are tagged a size eight. I do recommend to stay tr true to size with the Brigadier boot. All right, and next up we have the Decoy G Patton duck boot from the spring summer 2021 collection. Uh, obviously these are inspired after typical duck boots, but obviously Vism takes these classic silhouettes and puts their own unique Japanese twist on them. So this is fashioned with their G patented triple stacked vulcanized outsole. It is fashioned with some Vism stamp detailing and then some distressing along the outsole. This sole is completely handmade and hand applied. We have a, a little Vibram heel and then a Vibram outsole as well. We have the typical details that you would see on a duck boot. So we have this stacked four wing leather that wraps all around the boot. We do see it, a little panel of it coming up to the um, heel pull tab. And then it also does have a Swedish vegetable tanned cow suede shaft panel. And then we have vintage inspired triple needle stitch detailing running throughout the entire boot. Uh, we do have some tonal raw leather laces and some brass lacing hardware. And then the tongue itself is also that suede fabric with the Kion leather tongue tab. These also again feature the cow leather lining, the leather insole, and then the cork footbed. But yeah, a really interesting sort of sneaker take on the classic duck boot. Moving along, we have one of the coolest boots Vism has ever produced. So these are the seven hole 73 folk boots in a triple black colorway. This one is from the spring summer 2017 collection. They only produced this triple black colorway maybe three to four times. They have become extremely covetable and rare to find nowadays. Um, this spring summer 2017 version used an incredible thick uh, vegetable tanned UK uh, cowhide leather uppers. We do have a Visvim branded TPU heel support that wraps along the heel. We have some leather stacked midsole and then Visvim's typical Vibram waffle outsoles. We do have some ventilation holes. This detail was pulled straight from this boot's inspiration, which is the Vietnam jungle boots that were worn during the Vietnam War. We do have seven lace eyelets coming from the name seven hole. Um, we have some Japanese canvas shaft construction, a silver Riri uh, side zip enclosure, which makes taking the boots on and off that much simpler. And then we do have some tonal rope lacing as well. Uh, these are tagged a size 11. I do recommend to size down a half size with the seven hole 73 folk boots. They do fit a half size big. Uh, moving it right along, we have probably one of the most rare boots to find nowadays. These are the Brigadier boots and a kangaroo leather. They are from the Fall Winter 2014 collection. And what makes these so covetable is that kangaroo leather. Um, they did not produce this leather um, very much in the Brigadiers, maybe three or four seasons again, just like that all triple black seven hole. But what people like about kangaroo leather so much is how it wears and fades with time and it also is extremely thin and lightweight yet very durable as you can see these ones are heavily worn but still beautiful 
in how they have aged over time. We have some really nice detailing here, like some brass lace hardware, some triple needle seam construction here, leather stacked midsoles, and again, a day night rubber outsole featuring some indigo linen polka dot heel fabric inserts if you guys are interested these are tagged a size nine and a half and they fit in between a nine and a half or a size 10. finishing off the boots one of my favorite pickups as of late we have the spring summer 17 two boot folk boots these are inspired after classic engineer style boots they have no laces and a tall engineer boot shaft and then feature a strap over buckle design this buckle is made out of damaged brass hardware we have a double stitch goodyear welt running all the way throughout a leather stacked midsole and again a day night rubber outsole these are one of three silhouettes that Visvim has done with the two boot. The first one back in 2009 had a pretty bulbous and chunky toe. These ones being the second iteration, they have a very pointed toe and more of a formal look. And then the current two boots nowadays are kind of the in-between of these two and those have a little bit higher heel but this second iteration is my favorite of the three and i had been looking for this for a while and i'm really glad i picked this one up this one does use a really nice vegetable tanned suede upper and these will wear very very nicely over time hiroki specifically sourced this suede to have the characteristics of leather and how leather will age over time and uh, he wanted to pick a suede that will have the same capabilities in that regard and yeah so that is the end of the footwear section and now we will move on to the tops and the outerwear uh, this one is a jumbo border tee from the spring summer 2022 collection and tagged a size three for those of you who aren't familiar with the jumbo silhouette uh, this is Vism's take on a slightly oversized and boxy cut. So for this one, we have pretty generous room in the chest and body with a slight crop to it. And then we do have drop shoulders and elongated sleeves for the fabric. This one is made out of a cotton cashmere blend fabric. It is extremely soft and has some really nice texture to it. And then as you can see, it is fashioned with this border stripe detailing throughout and it uses a mix of dark maroons, which I think is a really nice contrast against this ivory base. Um, we do have a tonal border collar here as well. And then we have some signature ghost stitching at the back. Next up, we have the ICT Fairway shirt damaged. This one is from spring summer 2022 ict collection and is tagged a size four i would say on the fairways you definitely want to size up one size it fits uh, very slim but we have a pretty regular fit in the chest and a sort of a-line silhouette so it gets wider as you get down to the hem we have a front button placket one chest pocket and a really nice open lapel and then we do have regular shoulders and regular sleeves as well the thing that i love about this piece is this is a heavyweight linen fabric that they did a damage processed over and it really has some heft to it um, gives it really good structure on the body uh, which i really like as you can see the damage processing on this is absolutely incredible and the linen itself has really nice texture to it. Um, it does have the Kofu ICT neck patch there. And then we do have some nice cow bone buttons. But yeah, very easy, comfortable summer shirt. Next up, we have their Albacore button down shirt in a stark white fabric. This one is from the spring summer 2023 collection. So this current season and tagged a size one. For this albacore, it definitely fits on the oversized side, um, maybe closer to a size medium. It has a pretty oversized fit in the chest with a cropped body. 
as you can see we do have a curved seam there uh, we have a front button placket one chest pocket collar stays and then the thing about albacores is the elbow uh, patch detailing so this one uses this season's um, patchwork madras fabric so it takes a bunch of check printed fabric and they patchwork it into this very nice elbow patch detailing and yeah basically this is a basic button down shirt with, with a little flare on the elbows which i think looks great uh, definitely spices up the regular button down and gives it that little bit more uh, japanese tailored edge next up we have probably one of my favorite pickups in the past couple of months this is the lungta button down shirt luxic uh, this one is pretty old. It's from the spring summer 2014 collection and uh, tagged a size three. Um, it has a pretty regular fit, regular shoulders and sleeves, and then one chest pocket. What I really like is the fabric. This is made out of a cotton and linen blend fabric. Gives it incredible softness. We have mismatched uh, vegetable ivory nut buttons. They use different size buttons and different colors. We do have this cherry print lining on the back side there, which is a nice touch. Turning it back, we have a buttoned collar and then their signature woven detail on the back with a brass branded button. And then one last detail on here that I love is a little bit of elbow detailing. This is a gray linen fabric patch here at the elbow just to give you a little bit more reinforcement and protection there just a great simple summer shirt next up we have their lumber shirt damaged this one is from the fall winter 2021 collection and tagged to size two for the lumbers they do fit pretty oversized so i do recommend to size down one size from your true size and this one is an incredible mint green sort of color and it has a brushed desi cotton fabric so this one is pretty heavyweight i would say mid to heavyweight and this desi cotton is absolutely incredible as you can see it's sort of a brushed textured cotton and gives you a really nice comfy cozy hand feel for the fit itself we have a pretty boxy and cropped silhouette um, drop shoulders with balloon like sleeves we do have two chest pockets they are flap over buttoned and a regular collar here. The buttons themselves are standouts as well. They are buffalo horn, and you can really see the grain and texture in the buttons themselves. And then one last detail, we have indigo dyed Kofu fabric patch on the hem there. And if you guys didn't know, this one was damaged processed and garment dyed. So you're gonna get really nice fading along the seams and the color isn't gonna be um, even throughout it definitely has an uneven variation of this green throughout the entire fabric next up uh, it's not a Visvin piece but something that I would love to show you guys being into Visvin makes me into clothing in general and want to explore different brands from Japan specifically because they do take clothing in general insanely serious if you guys don't follow Pencho and Lefty um, it's one of my favorite Visvin retailers but he also carries a brand called Made by Gladhand. Um, this is a Japanese based brand and they usually take a fun approach to clothing, um, lots of graphics, but really rooted in the quality itself. So this is their Gladen sweater, I believe. So we have a Terry construction uh, sweatshirt. It has a pretty regular fit throughout the body. We have ribbing at the bottom of the hem along with the sleeves itself. We have a wide neck opening with double V stitching on the front and the back. And then obviously the thing that makes this special is these hand-drawn graphics. So this is not a print. These are hand-drawn and hand-painted. Just incredible detailing through this thing. And it does have paint splatter throughout as you can see it gives the piece really nice texture i was blown away when i first saw this it was on steep discount nobody really was paying attention to it 
um, but being a lover of VisVim, I've come to recognize when other brands are doing something that needs the attention. And I think this is one of those brands, very slept on in the United States. And Paint Your Own Lefty is the perfect source to kind of experience these other incredible brands that are doing amazing things in Japan. Okay, and starting off the outerwear, for the first piece, we have Vizim's Sea Pollard Insulator Jacket. This one is from the Fall Winter 2007 collection and tagged a size small. These must have ran very large because a size small fits me rather well. So if you're a size medium, this could actually fit you. Some of the details, we have a pretty trim regular fit in the body and chest. We have regular shoulders and sleeves as well. Uh, the fabric on it is <laughs> pretty interesting. This is a very finely spun nylon, uh, spun in Italy. And it's so fine that the nylon itself actually feels almost like silk. It's incredibly smooth. The detailing on this is MA1 inspired. So we have the typical sleeve pocket here with the Riri zip. We have a little patch here on the chest and then some snap button uh, slanted inset pockets. The buttons are planter snaps and it does have this incredible maroon wool pocket lining and then a front Riri zip placket. Uh, we do have wool ribbing on the neck, the hem and the cuffs. This is reversible. So as you can see, the other side is a quilted nylon, uh, which is the same fabric as the front. Um, we do have buttonholes, which you can actually attach into the Gore-Tex coats of the same season. So this can act as a liner. We do have an inside pocket this whole thing can actually be packed inside this pocket, which makes it easy to move around if you want to just throw this in your backpack and use it uh, when needed. And this is also using thermal light padding. Uh, moving it along, we have the doTERRA mill jacket. Uh, this one is from the spring summer 2019 collection and tagged a size three. Um, for the doTERRA, this is definitely a uh, kimono inspired silhouette. So we have these straight sleeves with the dropped shoulder. Uh, we have a kimono collar as the opening placket, uh, turning it around. Uh, we have this darting here up to the neck, which really gives you that kimono style feel. We do have some really nice cotton herringbone elbow reinforcement and has some really nice fading and damaging along the seams. We do have slanted inset snap button pockets. The snap buttons are Vism's custom damaged metal buttons, as you can see. Um, this does have these front tie strap enclosure um, but it, you can also adjust it using these waist adjusters. You can adjust the silhouette in the body itself. And yeah, this is just a military style robe kimono jacket and definitely blends the Japanese and Americana elements, which Vism does so well. Uh, moving on, the next three jackets aren't Vism related, but they are Japanese related, just like the glad hand sweater that I showed earlier. But this piece, is from Studio de Autisan. This is their type two mud dyed trucker and it's absolutely incredible. Uh, I was first introduced to mud dye from VisVim and the story behind it, how you can only make it in one island in Japan. This production method and dyeing method has been around for ages. Um, the type two silhouette is my favorite uh, denim jacket silhouette. So um, this was a no brainer for me. So we have a pretty wide cut in the chest and then a, a cropped in the body. This is true to the typical vintage Levi's type two silhouette. Um, they were pretty, pretty cropped in the body. Um, we have a front button placket um, and these buttons are dyed black to uh, match the tonality of the jacket itself. And the buttons are custom branded as well. This is their 14 ounce raw denim that they did a mud over dye to. With wear, this thing will fade incredibly beautifully. And I'm really looking forward to that process. And then the tag on the inside 
is my favorite part. I believe this is pigskin. And then as you can see, we have mud dyed and that is the actual island that they do the mud dyeing. Definitely looking to get more pieces from them um, because their quality is on point with any other Japanese brand, even VizVim. And it's a much cheaper price, which is nice. And this is also salvage and they have this piping throughout, which I think is a nice touch. And then what I really like is this little tag here. So it says reconstruction of great old things since 1979 with a little Japan flag right there. Moving on to another brand. This is a brand from Japan called Sage de Crepe. Um, they usually focus on uh, Americana elements. Uh, this is their oversized tailored jacket. We have an oversized wide chest, a three button front placket, a chest pocket, in two waist pockets. The fabric itself is what makes this jacket so amazing to me. This is a patchwork design of a bunch of different olive fabrics. So we have cotton linen, straight linen, and uh, regular cotton fabrics. And if you just run your hand along this, you are feeling so many different textures and weights of, of fabrics and the mix of it with these different shades of olive. Just gives it such a cool look. Definitely gives you the Americana vibe, but with that Japanese influence. And I just think this thing is amazing. And I've been really trying to get it into sort of uh, more smart attire. And this sort of gives you the casual version of something super formal. Moving on, we have another jacket from Saj Decret after I got the blazer. I really wanted to try more. Um, so I found this thing for a steal. I think it was like 80 bucks and retail on it was, I think near 500 or 600. This is their type one linen trucker jacket. This one is tagged a size large. Oh, I didn't say the blazer was tagged a size medium. It is incredibly boxy. Um, this uses their custom six and a half ounce linen fabric which um, was indigo dyed as well. So this thing is incredibly lightweight and flowy. Um, it does have a type one silhouette. So that is just one chest pocket. I do have to say their custom buttons on this guy are really interesting. As you can see, it does have sort of a spiral effect to them. And then the fabric itself is really, really awesome. Again, linen is gonna have a really nice texture to it. And then we do have some waist adjusters here as well. The sleeves are balloon-like. They kind of billow out and then it is an elastic cuff opening. And yeah, just a simple jacket. This is a mid-wash indigo in a linen and it goes with pretty much anything in my wardrobe. All right, and moving on, this is one of Visdom's more fun pieces in the past couple of seasons. So this is their Walker Down Vest. It's from the Fall Winter 2022 collection and tagged a size three. This is a custom woven wool linen check fabric. And as you can see, it blends these really nice colors. So we have green, red, orange, and sort of a cream. Um, we have a very wide cut in the chest itself. And then we have a cropped front body with an elongated back. Um, it does have these fold over waist pockets on either side and a uh, front snap button placket. And the buttons are damaged processed as well. And then we do have a sort of a, a turtleneck collar here. This is lined in a really beautiful rayon fabric, uh, makes it extremely comfortable. This is a uh, down filled with Polish white goose down filling, um, very warm and perfect for winter. Next up, we have Vizvim's take on an overcoat. Uh, so this is their Mies coat. Um, it is from the spring summer 2014 collection and tagged a size three. We have a cotton canvas shell and this was garment dyed and damaged process so you see this incredible fading along the seams um, the fit is pretty regular in the shoulder and sleeves we have a little bit more room in the body 
And then obviously it being a coat, it has that elongated length there. Um, we have these amazing oversized vegetable ivory nut buttons. The sleeve opening is adjustable and then features this really cool textured fabric. The lining itself is just another detail that makes this thing cool to have. So we have a uh, cotton Ulysses lining. This is a mid-weight um, cotton fabric with these hand stamped patterns. Um, but if you can imagine, this thing was hand stamped. So this is not a print. Every single pattern was hand stamped there. And then we have this indigo linen polka dot collar detail. And then we have hand stitching here. You guys um, are sleeping on this one. If you haven't tried the Mies coat before, it's such a good silhouette and such a smart look as well. Now, I do want to mention we do have inset pockets with that indigo fabric that we saw at the neck there. And yeah, this is such a cool overcoat and I really recommend you guys check this one out. Moving on, this is probably one of my favorite jacket pickups as of late. This is the 101 XX Dry PK Crash. This one is from the Spring Summer 2022 collection in tagged a size two. Again, the 101 XX is a very oversized and boxy take on the type two Levi's denim jacket. So I tend to size down one size with it. But yeah, as you can see, it does have a really wide cut in the chest and then cropped in the body as well. We have a front button placket, two chest pockets, a open collar, and then an adjustable sleeve. And what makes this piece very special is this is their custom uh, dry PK cotton fabric and they extract all the oil out of it using their uh, custom dry process which involves shrinking the fabric down gives the cotton such an incredible dry textured finish throughout this one is garment dyed and damaged process so you're going to get that typical fading along the seams uh, this also does have uh, crash detailing throughout. We have some patch repair here on the collar, which goes on to the backside as well. The sleeves also feature this really nice patch repair work and then some distressing on the elbow. You can see the fabric is fraying there. Again, this distressing is very realistic looking, which again is very hard to do. It does have adjustable waist and then their typical mud dyed um, buckskin suede back patch. And yeah, let me know what you guys think. Such a great piece, more modern take on the Type 2 Trucker with Visvim's incredible detailing throughout. We have this incredible Thorson down jacket. This guy is from the Fall Winter 2022 collection and tagged a size four. So we have a drop shoulder and very balloon-like elongated sleeves. And then we are wide and cropped in the body. Uh, if you guys are familiar with their Thorson, this is their take on the classic MA1 bomber jacket. So again, we have that typical styling that you see. So we have a, a sleeve pocket with a Riri zip, side slanted pockets, um, these are inset and snap button, and this is their custom damaged snap button as well. Um, we do have some detailing here, like a little military patch. This is a, a front zipper rear closure. We have really nice ribbing here along the collar, the hem and the cuffs. Uh, this one is made out of their custom rayon fabric, which was garment dyed and damaged processed. So as you can see along the seams, we have some fading here and a nice uneven color throughout the rayon itself. Uh, this is the very first Thorson that was filled with Polish white goose down. So it has really nice warmth to it. We have a rayon lining and yeah, such, such an awesome jacket and the color is so vibrant. This blue is absolutely incredible. It almost reminds me of like an indigo dye and the way that they could achieve this on a rayon is really incredible. So yeah, if you guys have been looking at this jacket 
I really recommend it. If you live in a colder climate, this thing is gonna be perfect for winter and definitely give you that standout pop of color um, that you're looking for. Next up, we have a lot of people's uh, grail leather jackets. This is their antique uh, Strabbler jacket from the fall winter 2009 collection. So this is an extremely, extremely old jacket. Um, this one is tagged a size large and I would say it fits maybe a little bit smaller, closer to a medium I'd say, but it was made out of this lambskin leather and then it features this antique aging process to it. So as you can see, they sort of mimic the way the leather would age if you wore it for years and years. The lambskin itself is incredibly soft. So we have a belt here, Riri zips throughout two side slanted pockets. We have a little flap button pocket here on the waist. Um, each of these snap buttons are Visvin branded. Um, we have a front Riri zip closure, another side enclosure there. Just incredible detailing on here. We have more Riri zips on the sleeve to adjust the sleeve opening. So as you can see, they took this jacket very seriously. This is why it's so many people's grails is because the attention to detail is just incredible. And the antiquing is so realistic. And then we have this contrast quilted uh, rayon lining. We have this little darting patch here on the shoulder. So yeah, as you can see, this thing is absolutely incredible and I'm really surprised it hasn't sold. Um, you guys are missing out. Uh, if you're really into moto style jackets, you can't get much better than this. This thing is absolutely incredible. Next up, we have probably one of the most rare pieces I've ever had the privilege of owning. This is the PFD vest, cotton herringbone and natural dye silk and cotton. This one is from the spring summer 2015 collection and is tagged a size five. It being a size five, I have to say it does fit a lot smaller, closer to a size three, as you guys can see on body. Um, but it has this really wide body and it has a cropped length as well. It is made out of a cotton herringbone shell. Uh, this one was garment dyed and damage processed so it leaves it with this really nice subtle fading throughout. Uh, this is a down filled vest so it is filled with Polish white goose down. Uh, the same feathers that were in the Thorson down jacket. Some details on this thing. Uh, we have a waist adjuster on either side and it utilizes this damaged brass material, as you can see. Um, so yeah, you can use those to adjust the silhouette of the waist. And then we do have this sort of buckle strap detail on the front. I'm not really sure the purpose of these, but it also uses that damaged brass buckle hardware. We have some really interesting quilting patterns throughout the front and back. Um, if you guys aren't familiar with the PFD vest, uh, PFD stands for personal flotation device. So this was modeled after a World War II life vest, of course, using Riri zips. And then it does have uh, this contrast sort of beige cotton herringbone zipper reinforcement on either side. Undoing the zipper, we can see that the vest is fully reversible, which is absolutely insane to see it on this side. Uh, this is their natural dyed silk and cotton blend fabric featuring um, this incredible Japanese motif. The blend of colors on this side is absolutely incredible. They did make a kahuna shirt in the same season using this fabric, um, which is nice to see them incorporating it in other ways as to not waste the fabric itself. Um, it does feature the same waist adjusters that we saw on the previous side. This thing is absolutely incredible. It is extremely rare. Um, I don't know the exact number that they made of these, but I would um, argue less than 10. This one was a pre-order exclusive. So whoever ordered it at the trunk shows is who got it. And uh, I've never seen another listed before. Um, if you guys know uh, Gian Jonathan, um, big Vism collector, he has never seen this piece ever. So that can give you a little sense of how rare 
this thing actually is and I am so grateful to own it. Um, I will be listing it because I cannot wear this thing in Florida. Um, so it'll just sit in my closet and I'd rather give it to a uh, true vision collector who, who knows the value of this thing. And then finishing it off, this thing is something I've been wanting for the longest time. Um, this is my second Elmendorf. Uh, the first Elmendorf that I ever got was the very first one they made, um, made out of this really nice lambskin fabric. Uh, but that thing was already broken in. Um, and I really wanted an Elmendorf that I can personally break in and make it mine. Uh, so when I saw this thing hit the market, I knew I had to get it. Um, this thing is incredibly heavy. Um, this is their Elmendorf jacket from the Spring Summer 2016 collection. And it is made out of a vegetable tanned horse hide material. For those of you who aren't familiar with the Elmendorf, this is Vism's take on the classic A2 flight bomber jacket. Some of the detailing here, we have a pretty regular fit throughout the chest and the body. Two snap button front waist pockets, some military patch detailing here. We have their custom wool ribbing on the cuffs and the hem, and then a, a zippered front placket. As you can see, this one is a Riri Swiss zipper, and I believe it is gold plated. Um, it does feature a leather zipper pull and this really nice uh, hook clasp enclosure. Um, the collar also does have these gold snap button collar stays. Um, it does have incredible hand warming pockets. Um, if I can show it. This is a custom woven wool pocket lining. This thing is incredibly warm. Opening it up, you can see that it has a 100% linen construction, entire world. And yeah, so that is my horse hide Elmendorf. Really looking forward to breaking this in. I'm gonna have it for the rest of my life. Really excited to see how this thing is gonna fade and form to my body specifically. And yeah, it's definitely one of my grails. And let me know what you guys think of this piece. Okay, and that's it for today's video. Please comment down below what you thought of the pickups. Uh, my favorite personally was the Elmendorf veggie jacket from spring summer 2016. So please comment down below what your favorite was. That would be greatly appreciated. If you enjoyed the video and the content that I make on the channel, uh, please consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel. It really helps me out. Uh, please don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Grailed. The links will be in the description below. And also don't forget to put post notifications both on this YouTube channel and my Instagram account so you don't miss any of the Vism content or the Vism listings that I'll be doing in the future. Again, thank you so much for watching and have a good one.